we have now the Swedish singer Tusse from Sweden here, and uh, he is going to sing the lovely song Voices uh, in this year's Eurovision Song Contest. Hey, yeah, Tusse. Hi. How are you so far? Are you excited uh, that Eurovision is going on now? Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm I'm looking forward to it. And right now, I mean, you know, I'm in the rehearsal mode. So we just we're rehearsing, we're uh, changing stuff, and we just we're so excited. Mm. Uh, you were born in uh, Congo in Africa. Um, yeah. And uh, what kind of memories do you have from that uh, time compared to Sweden? I think it's a totally different world in a way. Yeah, it actually is. So I, I'm, I don't have um, a lot of memories from there. Mm. Uh, I was a little, but I remember, uh, I remember life on the refugee camp and I remember my, my friends there. We played a lot of football and stuff like that. Yeah, and uh, you're also involved with music uh, since then. So um, you've been singing when you were a child. Could you explain a little bit of this? Or Yeah, so I think my singing comes from um, uh, the Congolese uh, culture. So mm -hmm. from a young age, I was singing and dancing just like everybody else uh, in my age. And then I started in a, uh, in a choir, in, in a church choir. Uh, and then after we fled from Congo and lived on the refugee camp, we ended up here in Sweden where I continued to sing. So I sang in school, in church, all over the place. And yeah, it's been, it's been a journey. And you, you moved to Dalarna. It's a very nice area in the middle of Sweden, yeah. central Sweden. Uh, did you feel comfortable there? Did the Swedes welcome you? Uh, as a new new member of the Swedish family, was it yeah, I've, I've, yeah, I felt really welcomed, uh, and it's it's been it's been great, uh, and I've enjoyed um, I've enjoyed uh, living here in Sweden. Mm. Uh, so uh, this, this time, you know. But uh, I read the interesting story that your mom applied for you in a TV show. So without yeah. telling you, that was quite funny, isn't it? <laughs> it is because okay like this so my 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 uh, stepmom my my bonus bonus mother uh she applied to sweden's got talent without telling me uh, and then they called me up and they they were like yeah we're we're calling from this channel and we want you to come and i was blown away i was so <laughs> excited i started crying screaming uh, and oh. it's been hell of a ride since then and now i'm here so yeah, yeah unbelievable sometimes uh good is also found in something bad well we had a bad experience with uh fleeing from your home country starting new but if this would not happen you've not been here representing exactly. so yeah great to see that and and what have, has changed so far uh when you won the idol later on and, and now you're at the Mel Melody Festival and winner, um, Swedish national final. Um, and now you're going to the Euro Eurovision Song Contest in Rotterdam. Is it uh, because you're still a student? Um, yeah, it's, it's crazy because I'm still in high school. And it's really hard, you know, balancing school with the music and uh, Eurovision. Uh, but I try to keep up. Uh, it's so difficult, uh, but um, you know I, I have to find the right moments to do uh, to do stuff like uh, homework and stuff. Uh, yeah, so I I, I will um, graduate in two months. Oh wow! Yeah, that's cool. Um, it's also the 60th anniversary of having Sweden in the Eurovision Song Contest. Do you feel a little pressure because Melodi Festival is really one of the most watched TV show in Sweden and, um, or do you also enjoy it um, or both? There's both, there's both. It's, it's a huge, it, there's a lot of pressure of course, because yeah. it's so big, but also a lot of support and love. And it's, a, it's really an honor to, to represent Sweden in Euro Eurovision as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, I feel a lot of pressure also because uh, Sweden uh, al always, you know, 
uh, stand out in Eurovision, I think, and they always um, end up in the top uh, top ten at least every year. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's it's a uh, yeah it's it's quite a um, uh, you know legacy to uphold. But I think I have uh, ra- the right support and the right mentality, so I I will go for the win, of course. Yeah, we also have we also have Eden Aline from Israel. She has Ethiopian roots. Um, yeah. Do you feel uh, there's a little brothership uh, or uh, something like this? Yeah, I guess so. I some, haven't some African power. <laughs> African power, of course. I haven't talked to her, but uh, we'll see. Maybe there's something yeah. there. Talking about your song, it's um, it's a modern pop tune, I would say. Uh, how would you describe that kind of music? Um... Exactly. So it's a, a pop, pop uh, mid tempo song, uh, and um, I think the the heart of the song is it lies in the lyrics and in the message behind the song. Uh-huh. Uh, which is hope and uh, humanity and that everybody has a voice and they d- everybody deserves to be heard, which I think is really, really powerful. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's an honor to be the one to, to have this song and to kind of uh, remind people of this, this yeah. fact that everybody has a voice and we should all be using our voice to, to do good in life. Is it also a song against racism in a way? Absolutely. Yeah. I, absolutely. And discrimination. So you lift diversity on stage. I see it in your in your outfits. I think what what you're wearing now it's also quite special. It's yeah. not H and M, but uh, <laughs> it's from. <laughs> um, do you have a special eye on this as well? Uh, I remember you had a red suit. Uh, yeah. Was really really interesting. I think. Yeah, I, I loved it. I, lo- I loved uh, uh, just because you uh, with Melfest, I got a platform where I could express myself and express uh, the message of the song. So I just I went all in on both fronts, and um, I think it, it, it was really great. Do you remember some uh, good acts from Sweden or other countries? Uh, maybe from the outfits or from the songs. What what do yeah, you have in mind? Think- Uh, from the songs, I would say Euphoria uh, mm-hmm. with Lorena, of course, and uh, uh, Razak Finis with Conchita Verst. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, mm-hmm. yeah, that's my favorites, I think. And then Guy Sebastian's uh, Tonight Again, I, I, I enjoy those. Ah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Uh, well, Loreen was also from Morocco um, originally, um, so she could win the Eurovision Song Contest for Sweden. And um, what would happen if you would win this event? Will it be he will be seen all over the world, especially in Europe? I have, but I would have been, I would cry, <laughs> I would scream. I don't think I could handle it. I, so I, <laughs> I, I think I would just, you know, I don't think I would handle it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a crazy. Uh, do you fear that uh, Rotterdam maybe not? Is that you maybe pr- can't travel to Rotterdam, or um, is this, is a, are you scared about this that maybe due to Corona everything could be getting worse again, so that you cannot really uh, act in, on on stage? Maybe only your backup video will be shown, or don't you think of it? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about that. No, no, no. I'm, I I have hope, and I think that. Uh, because because of the vaccine and everything, I think it's just gonna be better. Um, so I, no, I, I I'm not worried at all about about it because uh, I think we're we're only the pandemic is going to be over soon, and we we're headed to better days. I think. Good, uh, good to speak to you, uh, Tuse from Sweden. Uh, I really uh, wish that you have. Um, Good luck that you will have a good rank at the end and enjoy everything, what's going around. And uh, yeah, I would say Sweden 12 points <laughs> again. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. You're too sweet. <laughs> yeah, you thank too. You. Uh, thank you so much, um, dear Tuse. Thank you so much for having me. Have a great day. 